Today, friends, I've got a trick for faster Tinkercad exports and a super cool twisty fidget. So let's get cracking. Now, this is created by ZDP189. If you do bit.ly ZDP cone, it'll take you there instantly. Now, of course, ZDP sets everything to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give him a reaction before you copy and tinker. As you can see, it is a complex project, and it's amazing ZDP was able to whip it up using only Tinkercad. Real quickly, though, I want to highlight how to get it printed. Of course, my typical steps, grab both, choose export, and choose STL. Now, unfortunately, it froze at this spot and simply was not going to end. I actually let it sit for more than 10 minutes. So I've had this before, and one of my favorite ways to solve it is to simply click up here on the Tinkercad workspace window. And as soon as we bounce back, simply hit Tinker this to re-enter and try again. So I simply tried again, and it froze again. So of course, I have to have this printed. So let's try plan B. Grab one piece, hit export, still STL selected shape, and bingo, works instantly. And I'm going to call this copy of cones one, because it's a single piece, and hit save, and then swap to the other cone, which may or may not be more complex. I'm not sure. Both of these are freaking amazing. I'm going to simply hit STL and pop. It works as well. I'm going to call it two. So where I had 10 minutes waiting for both, switching to a single one worked like a champ. Now I reached out to the Tinkercad devs to ask what was up. They shared with me something cool. When you do this and you cancel, it saves it in the queue. So sometimes, bingo, even the one that was more complex and hung up works instantly. I'm going to just call it copy of both cones and hit save. Friends, at that point, let's send it to the 3D printer. I'm gonna be using the Bamboo Labs P1S. Let's hit add. There's my copy of cones. I want these to be a little larger. If we check this right now using the scale tool, it's only five centimeters tall. I want it to be about seven centimeters tall. So I'm gonna type 70 right here and let everything else scale accordingly. Now I want them two colors, but instead of using the Bamboo Labs paint feature, I'm gonna simply print the set twice with two different colors and end up with two fidgets. I've already got my gray set, so now let's click and switch and make a blue set. So that way we don't have any color switches and when I'm done, I can have two mixed color fidgets. If we hit slice plate with 0.2 layers, we're looking at a one hour and 13 minute print. Of course, now we can hit print plate, double check our colors, and send it to the 3D printer. Eventually, it bounces to the device menu. And of course, when it finishes downloading, we can click play and monitor everything from afar. And check it out. Here they are in action. Of course, the more you play with them, the better they get. Nice work, ZDP. Friends, as I wrap up, two big things for you to remember here. One, Exporting as separate pieces is super slick. That got me out of the initial issue. The devs also shared with me that if it freezes in the cache or times out in the cache, it does save it. So if you start again, it'll quite often pick up and finish just like you'd expect it to. You just got to remember to cancel and try it again. I have also had a lot of success with backing out and restarting. Finally, I also want to say thanks again to ZDP189 for the excellent fun fidget. Finally, friends, I want to say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget, you can check the bit.ly up above or the link in the description to learn more. Finally, of course, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.